Despite weak economic activity aggravated by outbreak of COVID-19, HDFC Bank has reported yet another strong performance with net profit increasing by 18% year-on-year in Q4. In our Ideas for Profit today, I will discuss whether COVID-19 can derail the bank's upward journey. Well, India's most profitable private sector bank has been the most consistent performer on the street for many years now. In Q4, the disruption caused by the outbreak of COVID-19 and also the nationwide lockdown did impact the bank's profitability. But the bank did not disappoint on the key deliverables front, like loan growth, margins and asset quality in the latest quarter. Which makes one thing very clear, that a few powerful firms are set to gain more clout and HDFC Bank is one such name. So what makes us think so? Well, that's because HDFC Bank's deposit franchise continues to strengthen as the bank benefits from flight to safety in an uncertain time like now. And HDFC Bank's deposits increased by 80,000 crore rupees in Q4, highest ever in its history of 25 years. Well, some of it was also triggered due to the Yes Bank crisis. Now, this will not only lower its cost of funds, but also will enable the bank uh, to grow its asset book. HDFC Bank's loan growth of 21% and deposit growth of 24% as at the end of March 20 stood uh, way above the industry loan growth of around 6% and the deposit growth of just 8%. However, the bank stock has corrected almost 30% from its 52-week high levels following the outbreak of COVID-19. So will the COVID-19 pandemic mark an end to the stock's more than 25-year-old bull run? Well, not in our view. If you really see, that's because bull runs in stock markets do not die of old age, but from a dearth of earnings. While private lenders' earnings will definitely be materially impacted in FY21, the near term, COVID-19's outbreak does not permanently impair HDFC Bank's long-term earnings potential. And strong revenue growth led by healthy loan growth, lower cost of funds, and buffer of the higher provisions will definitely limit the downside in the earnings, even if credit cost escalates over the next two quarters. Also, the sharp derating in valuation more than adequately really captures the risk posed by COVID-19, making the stock a relatively safer bet right now. Lower cost of current and savings accounts or CASA deposits gained momentum in Q4 and grew by 24% year on year. Thanks to the falling cost of funds, the net interest margins came in at 4.3% this time. The bank also has created a COVID-19 related contingent uh, provision of about 1550 crore rupees. Consequently, its provision coverage uh, ratio also improved sharply. Now, the key driver of the bank's profitability has been improvement uh, in the operating uh, of efficiency as the core cost to income ratio declined to 39% in Q4. Now gross non-performing assets ratio also declined to 1.26%. The key negatives really would be the core fee income growth moderating to 15% year on year. Bank's retail loan growth is skewed in favor of the unsecured products and the share of unsecured loans stood at around 17% of HDFC Bank's total loan book at the end of March 2020. However, HDFC Bank's valuation has fallen to a multi-year low, while the long-term growth and profitability outlook is still quite very strong. At the current market price of 910 rupees, HDFC Bank is trading at 2.4 times the core book value estimated for FI22, assuming conservative earnings growth of 13% CAGR over the next two years. Well, it is a rarity to find a high-quality business with decent and predictable earnings growth at compelling valuations. So HDFC Bank is a must-buy stock right now and should form a part of every investor's court portfolio.